This screencast demonstrates improvements to user account control for Windows 7. User Account Control, or UAC, was introduced in Windows Vista to help provide customers more control of their system by enabling IT administrators to lock down the system for certain users by running them within standard, non-privileged user accounts. UAC has delivered successfully on this in the Windows Vista timeframe, and customers continue to value the ability to create a standard user and be confident an administrator can make the decision on what software is added to the system and what changes should be allowed. However, we have received substantial feedback about the number of notifications for change. In Windows 7, we have invested in addressing the key customer feedback around UAC, while still maintaining the ability for IT administrators to be confident about a standard user environment. Let's take a look. We have enabled the Windows operations that users do often to be done in a standard user environment with the goal of providing prompt free daily activities. For example, a user can now adjust the readability of the screen without having to change it for the entire system. Additionally, we have reduced key duplicate notifications for common activities such as installing applications from Internet Explorer. We have also made it possible for IT to look at a key setting on the system without needing administrative privileges by refactoring many of our control panel applications into read-only and write sections. The Windows Firewall is a great example of how this works. In line with our overall Windows 7 focus on user in control, we have enabled users running as protected administrators to determine the range of notifications they receive. Based on customer feedback and actual instrumented data from our customers' response to UAC prompts, we default the initial setting for UAC such that administrators are notified when software other than Windows is requesting to change the overall system and such that standard users will receive a request for administrator authorization for any change to the overall system. We believe this default setting has the right balance of establishing an ecosystem where a broad range of ISV software can be run in a standard user environment, while providing administrators with control over the experience of configuring Windows. With the overall number of prompts substantially reduced, an administrator will be able to more readily identify critical prompts such as the prompt generated when a rootkit tries to install, thus providing a more confident sense of user control. As you've learned, Windows 7 continues the investment in UAC with specific changes to enhance the user experience and put users in control, from reducing the number of operating system applications and tasks that require administrative privilege to a flexible, consent prompt behavior for users who continue to run with administrative privilege. The result Standard users can do even more than ever before and all users will see fewer prompts.